All right, just going to show you a quick article on wayoflife.org showing that rock music is not only unscriptural and wicked and satanic and fornication type music, it's also, it can lead to suicidal depression and all kinds of health problems. You see, every sin always has health problems. You'll notice that. But going to show you this article on wayoflife.org, rock music and suicide. And this is going to be kind of the fourth addition to my uh, videos against Christian rock music. But this one's just showing how rock music in general leads to suicidal depression and all kinds of um, psychological and mental health problems. You see, again, all sin is, is harmful in some way to your health and also to your spiritual walk. But it says, uh, this is about rock music and suicide on wayofleft.org. And I don't agree with David Cloud on everything, but he is right on this. When it comes to some doctrinal issues, you know, it's minor, minor, very, very minor. But uh, this is an area I do agree with him on. Uh, so it says, Rock Music and Suicide. The rise of rock music to the place of prominent influence in global westernized pop culture has been accompanied by the dramatic rise in youth suicide. A study by the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company found that suicide rates among teens rose 50% from 1952 to 1962. It rose another 200% from between 1962 and 1982, as well as, as with as many as 500,000 teens attempting suicide each year. This is from the Frightening Facts About Teen Suicide, Teen Magazine, uh, and this is October, uh, October 1983, page 10. Between 1980 and 1995, the suicide rate doubled, again, for youth ages 10 to 14. By 1987, suicide had become the second leading cause of death among youth between ages 15 to 18 after automobile incidents, accidents. Believe me, when I was in high school, secular high school, uh, kids, my, kids my age back then did not know how to drive. Okay, I'm turning 20 soon, and back when I was in my early teens, the, the kids in my high school did not know how to drive at all. I mean, I, I like there was one time I almost got my foot run over because some kid was just going crazy with his car. So, a uh, bit of a side issue. Uh, but in the 1990s, suicide was the number three case because teen murders was number two. Uh, many rock gangs, or rock gangs, well they are kind of like gangs almost, but many rock songs have glorified suicide. Uh, Kamikaze clones song, uh, quote, death can be fun glorifies suicide. String songs, quote, consider me gone, is about a man in despair with nothing to look forward to but death. Uh, Blondie song, die young, stay pretty, encourages young people to die before the age robs them of their youthful, be youthful beauty. The song No Way Out by Degeneration, kind of like degenerate, kind of sounds better for them, is about the desire to kill oneself. The rock music, the rock group, accepts a uh, Russian roulette album, depicts two young men playing the deadly suicide game on the album cover. And it says, and then you got Marilyn Manson, the depraved, sick, disgusting pervert that he is. Marilyn Manson has sold t-shirts with the slogan, quote, kill God, kill your parents, kill yourself. Quality content right there. Yeah. Uh, when asked about suicide, he said, quote, if somebody wants to kill themselves, bleeping uses profanity. Somebody wants to kill themselves, bleeping fine, you know, and he chuckles. Suicide is that person's option. Who chuckles about suicide? Seriously, who does that? Who laughs about that kind of stuff? Weird. And very sick and depraved mind, too. Uh, the very name of the rock group, uh, Suicidal Tendencies, uh, glorifies suicide. Their song, Suicidal Failure, says, quote, I don't want to live. I don't know why. I don't have no reasons. I just want to die. Unquote. The song's Suicides, an alternative, says, Sick of life, sick and tired, no one cares, sick of myself, I don't want to live, sick of living, gonna die, Suicides, an alternative. Unquote. And it says, Police's song, quote, Can't Stand Losing You, it's about, is about suicide. Uh, quote, this is the, their song, Quote, I can't see the point in another day, for nobody listens to a word I say. You call it a lack of confidence, but I... But to carry on living doesn't make no sense. You'll be sorry when I'm dead. All this guilt will be on your head. I guess you call it suicide, but I'm too full to swallow my pride. Hmm. Interesting, because Obadiah one three, the pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. Yeah, too full to swallow my pride. Pride is what led to pride is is the part of the most deadly sin out there, because pride is what keeps a lost man from getting saved. Uh uh, between 1985 to 1990, Ozzy Osbourne was soon sued by three different sets of parents from Georgia and California, all claiming that his song, quote, Suicide Solution, had, had included their sons, or had induced their sons to commit suicide. Rolling Stone Encyclopedia of Rock, page 734. 
734. Osborne won all three suits, claiming the song was actually written to lament the death of a rock star, uh, Bron Scott, and that it was actually an anti-alcohol and anti-suicide. Sure, suicide solution is somehow anti-alcohol and anti-suicide. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the courts ruled that the lyrics were protected by First Amendment and the rockers had a right to artistic freedom. Uh, the song itself did not, does not sound like a statement against suicide. Its dark rhythms and depressing lyrics certainly can only take, can be taken as an encouragement for suicide. Yeah, suicide solution is not anti-suicide and anti-alcohol. Give me a break. It's ridiculous. Uh, it, and it is an irrefutable fact that young people have snuffed out their lives while, lives while listen, listening to it repeatedly. So if it's an anti-suicide song, why is it having the opposite effect? Interesting. Black Sabbath song, uh, Paranoid, which was sung by Osborne, says, quote, I think I'll lose my mind if I don't find something to gratify. Can you help me? Oh, won't you blow my brains? Or, or won't you blow my brains? Yeah. Quality content. Uh, not. Two other songs by Black Sabbath, quote, Killing Yourself to Live and, quote, Die Young, promote dark suicidal thoughts. In 1987, two young men in Sparks, Nevada killed themselves with a shotgun while sitting in a car in a church parking lot. Par parking lot sorry. After listening to Judas Priest stained glass album for hours, they had made the suicide pact, or they had made a suicide pact. 18-year-old Raymond uh, Belknap died instantly, while 19-year-old James Venice was permanently disfigured with part of his face blown away. The parents sued Judas Priest, claiming that the lyrics of the album could combine with grinding, vicious, uh, depressing heavy metal uh, music, memorize the use, com uh, convincing them that the answer to life is death. And it was uh, Gannett News Service, August 4th, 1987. Hmm. What is the thing about, oh, the answer to life is death? Notice how it always glorifies death. Interesting. Because a verse of scripture that kind of ties into this. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. All these rock artists, like these, 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 these Satanist rock artists, they're just atheists. They don't, they don't believe in God or Satan. All they that hate me love death. They hate God, and that's why they love death. Don't tell me, oh, they just don't believe in God. They're just a bunch of atheists. And if they are atheists, this is just the corrupt fruit of atheism. So, either way, it doesn't work in your favor. Um... Or is it? Uh, the parents' lawyer, uh, Kenneth McKenna, stated, quote, the suggestive lyrics combined with a continuous beat and, ryth and rhythmic, rhythmic non-chanting annotation of the music combined to induce, uh, encourage, aid, abet, and otherwise memorize the plaintiff into believing the answer to life is death. Yeah, all they that hate me love death. Proverbs, what was that? Proverbs 8.36. Uh, which is sad, because, you know, these these satanist rock artists who you know supposedly atheists but whole other issue um they're actually winning these court cases you know uh because their their songs are encouraging suicide but then you're actually winning i mean it's clear that their songs are responsible for these kids killing themselves but then they win the court cases which just shows that you know there is obviously some weird stuff going on with these courts. Uh, that is a reasonable assumption, but the case that we lost on the grounds that the vile music is protected under the First Amendment. Okay, free, yeah, free of speech is an important thing. Freedom of speech, you see, a society cannot function without free speech, okay? Whenever you start to censor speech, you're going into to fascism, communism, just blatant authoritarianism, okay? Free speech is important, but from what I understand, the Constitution does not protect, you know, glor you know well, not, not glorifying, but encouraging death. Like college for violence. That's just what I. That's what I. That's just how I, re, I read it. Okay. Um, free speech is hey I hate blank or I don't like this or I don't like the government or free speech is even hey I I think that sodomites are wicked. You know, that's free speech. Free speech is not go kill yourself. You know, big stretch there. A teenager in Wisconsin committed suicide by hanging himself in 1986 in his dormitory room in St. John's Military Academy. Quote, his death was clearly marked as a ritualistic suicide. Next to the body was a human skull and a burning candle. Tape recorded rock music played continuously. What was the tape music? A morbid album by Pink Floyd entitled The Wall. The very lyrics produced Great Depression and promoted suicide, the medical examiner stated. But it's protected by free speech, even though the medical people are even saying, yeah. It's encouraging suicide. Uh, what was it? 
And again, again, I'm not saying we should censor speech. Uh, don't get me wrong, okay? Free speech is important. You know, I'm all for 100% free speech. But there's a difference between free speech saying, hey, I think that sodomites are wicked. I think that, you know, feminism is wrong. I think that abortion is murder. To saying, go kill yourself. Just go kill yourself. There's no point of living. Just kill yourself. Big difference there. Okay? Um... My personal feeling is that this type of music is going to add to the depression. If they're depressed, the music is going to send them deeper. If he wanted to change his mind sometime during this, the music wouldn't help." Unquote. Uh, what are the titles of the songs on the albums? A few more is There Ain't There Anybody Out There and Goodbye Cruel World and Waiting for the Worms. H.T. Spence Confronting Contemporary Christian Music. And you can just go on and on and on. There's so many different examples of suicides among these teens. You have, um, what was it, uh, Piano Texas. There's uh, Bruce and Bill, these, these two kids or whatever, best friends. And then they ended up, uh, or was it, they ended up, what did it say they do? They went, uh, uh, sorry, I was skimming through this thing. Oh, yeah, so then, then we did two kids, Bruce and Bill. So then Bruce, I think, or sorry, Bill ends up dying. And then Bruce kills himself at the funeral with a carbon dioxide poisoning. And then in the car, there's a tape player playing one of Pink Floyd's songs, Goodbye Cruel World. Then you got 1975, 16-year-old John Tanner. Uh, he tried to basically kill himself, but then he actually did get saved and accepted Jesus Christ. So praise God for that. And that's from, uh, there's also 14-year-old ACDC fan in Indianapolis, Indiana, shot himself in the head in an attempted suicide. And then his mother was convinced that heavy metal rock music exercised a strong influence and the depression, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. I mean, so many different examples of young young adults and teens k killing themselves because of rock music. But oh, oh, it doesn't it doesn't encourage suicide. Yeah, it does. Okay, it basically makes you think there's no point to living. Just it it basically teaches no respect for human life. You know, I mean, again, what does the Marilyn Manson say? Kill God, kill your parents, kill yourself. See, no, no respect for human life at all. That's that's this is what rock music does. That's why I'm so hard against it. And Christian contemporary music is just simply trying to take this um, murder encouraging music and trying to Christianize it. You can't do that, okay? Like Job 14:4 says, you can't take a clean thing from an unclean thing. So I just wanted to show you guys that. That's what rock music does to the psychology, to the human brain. It messes you up and makes you want to kill yourself. So more proof that all sin is negative for your health. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.